That tiny black dot over my incision eventually led to seven surgeries, nine blood transfusions, and being in the hospital for two months. Definitely have had a very active life and, you know, <laughs> thought I was, yeah, indestructible almost. And the surgical site infection really, really knocked me off that uh, pedestal. <laughs> you don't ever want anyone to feel the kind of pain that you feel when your body is being eaten alive. The septic shock and, and the spinal meningitis was the scariest thing I've ever been through. I never dreamed that this would happen to me. But if it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. And it is a truism of surgery that bad things can happen to very good surgeons. And it's important that we separate the notion of the risk of surgical site infections and the skill set of the surgeon. There's no holy grail when it comes to surgical site prevention. I wish there was. So when it comes to preventing surgical site infections, we do what we can at every step of the way. I don't like to change things frequently. But I do change if I know it's gonna improve my patient's outcome. This is where the Ethicon Advanced Wound Closure products have been fantastic that I've used in my own surgical cases. It's almost a no-brainer to bring in Ethicon Plus sutures. The de Jong meta-analysis from 2017, the overall effect that they found was a 28% reduction in the risk of surgical site infection. Dermabond Prinio, which is a mesh-reinforced skin adhesive, that closes the wound, it's fast, and you're closing that incision at every point along its length. The topical skin adhesive protects against exogenous bacteria entering. In the military, we learned that an ounce of preparation saves a pound of pain, and it's true. As a healthcare provider, if you could add another layer of protection to what you're doing for your patient, why wouldn't you? So from the patient's perspective, there really is no such thing as a minor surgical site infection. I just, I want doctors to know. I want doctors and surgeons to know that they hold not just one life in their hand, but they hold a family in their hands. They hold a community in their hands. The responsibility for reducing the risk of surgical site infections, figuratively and literally, lies in our hands. My goal as a surgeon is to make surgical site infections a never event. We can get zero surgical site infections. We just have to believe that we can. When it comes to surgical site infections, one is too many. Zero starts with one. Zero starts with one. Zero starts with one. Zero starts with one.